Hello again everyone, Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, KJ4YZI, and a video here not too long by request, and I don't normally do requests because I just don't have the funds to go out and buy everything you want to see, but a couple people uh, and within the same week had said, hey Eric, they were, uh, they were looking at a, a BTEC, I think it was the UV50X2 or 50UVX2 by BTEC, and they said it looks identical to the Luton that I found. But the Lewiton offers a higher output. What is the difference? Is it really a higher output? And what, which one should I get? Well, the uh, 50X2, I think, is a 50 watt. This one uh, claims 75 watts on VHF, 55 watts on UHF. But you'll see in the video, my tests on two different meters into a dummy load, to the best of my ability, I'm getting 80 to 81 watts output on this. Um, so. Besides the fact that these are all different variants, but basically the same thing, you know, they have different names on them from different companies, this one actually is putting out more output power. Now, some people may say, well, the difference between 50 to 75 watts is really no noticeable difference. You may be correct that you're not going to have much more of a difference, but, uh, you know, theory would say an extra 25 30 watts will make a, a, when you're in that fringe area will make a difference it may not be a noticeable difference on an s meter but it will make a difference and if they're around the same price why not get an extra 30 watts right so um the Lewiton, i've done a few radios the last one i did was the quad band it had 220 it was really in reality a tri band but it has 220 megahertz on it and it was less than a hundred dollars and I've seen a lot of comments of people that picked that up that are still using it. Maybe a couple of failures, but from my understanding, Luton took care of that, and they, they sent them a new one, a replacement. Um, but looking at this radio here, the, the case design in, you know, incorporates a heat sink, like a lot of radios do. Uh, it does have a fan built in the back. If you're wondering about the higher output power, if it gets warmer, yes, it will get a little warm, but there is a fan in here, and it's got like an automatic circuit, so the hotter it gets, the faster the fan goes. Um, the same color screen and the same display as the quad band um, that you saw on a previous video or uh, looking like the uh, BTEC model. Channel selector, volume knob, your power button is actually holding the volume knob in to turn it on. 8-pin modular mic with a DTM F mic I'll show you in a second. Your data port in the front for programming it makes it so much easier when you're programming with a cable and software. And some quick buttons here, VFO memory mode, high and low power, ABCD to go through the different frequency readouts and such. Um, and on the back, it uses the same power cord as a lot of other radios. So if you have one in a go kit or a vehicle, you don't have to run the whole power cord. That was something a couple people brought up. Why can't they just stick with the same thing? Because there are certain radios or manufacturers out there that are using different plugs. And they say, well, every time I get a different radio, i got to run the, the cord through my car because it's got a different end on it. So this one uses the same one. And on the back, uh, SO239 for standard. Again, the fans built into here. And uh, the remote speaker, um, speaker mic jack on the back here. Top firing speaker, doesn't feel too heavy. Really not that loud when the fan's on. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna just show you the, uh, the menu structure. I mean, it's kind of similar or, or basic. I mean, you can figure it out. The manual here, uh, does a pretty decent, pretty decent job at uh, explaining some of the features in here. I mean, they do, you know, the, the translation is all right. So you won't be lost in this manual. Um, you know, if you remember the beginning manuals from all the Bofungs, they were horrible. This one does pretty good. Um, the DTMF mic kind of looks, it well, looks identical to the BTEC, and it looks like uh, the quad band one, it looks like Kenwood actually used one, I think, that looked like this with a different name on it. So maybe they're using a generic design. But a lot of the functions can be used with the microphone going into menu. It is a backlit DTMF mic. And you can go in here and, uh, you know, set the different uh, functions with here without having to mess with the front of the radio if you wanted to mount that out of arm's reach in the vehicle. You can do that. Um, so let's go through the menu real quick. I'll show you a power test on a couple different meters I have, and uh, it is getting like 80 watts. And I turn it on, so you're prompted right here with the four. A lot of people say, well, if it's a dual band wire, there are four frequency readouts. Well, I guess that's the design they did. Um, but what I like to do, first off, is I like to put just four common frequencies on here. Like sim uh, there's a simplex channel, uh, a repeater channel, 
another repeater channel and uh, this one I can just make oh wait a minute there we go simplex channel okay so basically I can use the a B button and just go through different ones um, so I have four different frequencies I mean lately I'm not much into a lot of repeaters uh, I, I talk on the same few repeaters around here and a couple simplex channels, but somebody may have, you know, it does have 200 memories, so somebody out there who gets this may load it up with all 200, and that's fine. Uh, but me, what I like to do is I got a couple here, and I can just shift through different ones. And the manual does say there's like a TMR mode where you can have uh, A and B as uh, standby and C and D as like a dual watch. So it will, I don't think all four of them, maybe it will. Uh, all four of them will be a dual watch. I think it's like one and two or two and two or two and one or maybe all four. I haven't really played with that setting yet, but it's in the manual. And um, the menu functions, a, a lot of the the, the uh, headers here, the labels are similar. You know, you know that's squelch. You know that's transmit power. Uh, a couple of them you might have to read the manual. You know that's timeout timer, automatic power off, wide or narrow. Uh, not sure remember what that one is. The beep, turn it on and off. You received CTCSS tone and transmit CTCSS tone. So nothing really new other than maybe they labeled it different or it's just in a different uh, organ, you know, different uh, organizational thing in the menu. But uh, the the menu colors can even be changed. You know, the the black on blue or different men menu colors to make it easier to see in different lighting settings or different eyesights. Um, so basically, uh, you know, the fact that you can name, you could also name them right here in the menu. Like I, I can store a channel, um, you know, right on the right through the mic if you wanted to. That is possible. I can name the channel here, um, you know, with different uh, different alpha tags. Okay, and you can do that easier with the software. But um, See, it says here, uh, channel A, B, C, and D. So you can have them, you know, uh, by frequency or by channel or by name. So I can have, you know, A is a name, B is a channel, C is a frequency or whatever. Um, so a lot of the, the functions are there. I will test it first on my analog MFJ meter, and then I'm going to put it right on the digital one. So it's not a bird meter. Can't really afford one of those. But uh, with two meters here, if I get identical results, I know I'm, you know, right in the in the uh, common range there. Uh, consider a small donation. Maybe one day I can get me a bird meter with some really good uh, accurate reading, readings. So we're going to go to uh, 144 first. High power. Here we go. Just over 70, uh, 60, 70. Okay, so 71 watts. 145 lower end of the FM and we're getting about 80 on 145 holding barely just dropping uh, 146 wow just over 80 maybe 81 fans kicking on 147 zero, 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 zero. Let's see. A little bit more over 80. Looks like 82, 83 watts. 82 maybe. 81. Hard is on the analog. We'll show you on the digital. And just because, and the fan's now on high speed, so it's got like an automatic fan that comes on, and the warmer it gets, the faster it goes. Not that loud. If it was in your vehicle, you wouldn't hear the fan at all. Uh, 148 into the dummy load over 80. So 80 watts across the board, one, 146, 147, uh, 145, 146. I mean, going to simplex here, 146520, just over 80, 81 watts. I'll do the same test with my new MFJ Beaner. And what I like about this meter is you can see it without me having to zoom in on it because of the big backlit screen uh, on it. So. We'll do it again. We'll go to 144 and test for power. 71 at 144, 145, 76, 146, 
80, 79, 147, 80, 81, and just for the heck of it, 148. Whoops. Eighty. So seventy-five or more up to eighty across the entire FM portion. Um it's pretty good. I mean a lot of times you get, you know, some radios from China that advertise ten watts on a handheld and they're actually only putting out eight. Uh this thing's advertising seventy five, seventy five. And I'm getting more than that on all all across the board. Uh, just to do UHF, 40. That's about what I had on the analog. 40 and climbing. Huh. It's going the other way this time. And the fan's kicking on. And uh, I'll just go to 455. 50. So... They say 55 on UHF, it's getting about 45 in the FM portion, 40 to 45 roughly. Um, so let's put it on the beam there and talk to some of the guys real quick, get some audio reports. Yeah, that makes a difference, KJ4YZI. Hello, John. Well, I just know that horizontal for, I mean, I lose you guys. I, I think I'm going to switch that beam back to vertical. Just trying out another radio. I wanted to see what it sounded like. Hey, don't sound too bad. What, uh, what is it? It's a China dual band by the Lewiton, but it's a 75-watt mobile that puts out 80 watts. Okay, maybe it's picking up more of my room, uh, more, you know, in the in the air. Yeah, yeah, that, that would probably be the way I could say it the best. Yeah, KJ4YZI. Well, um, I have this stuff inside, but I enjoy more um, setting up stuff outside in the driveway. That's just me. Uh, real quick, the audio on this radio, what's it sound like? Now, there's a guy that's always loud in my receive. What's up, man? KJ4YZI. You hearing me? Oh, yeah, I hear you. 4PBC, what's the signal? Uh, well, on this radio, it's like full bars. The, the bars are kind of a little bit different than what you're used to, uh, but you're full scale, just about. Yeah, well, uh, like I said, it, I, I mean, it goes up, you're, you're like s solid at 90. Now, I don't know if this meter on this China radio, uh, what it equates to, but it's like full scale at 90. Well, if you're switching beams to vertical, this will be the last you see the big signal. Why, are you horizontal? The 18 I'll still be able to hear you though. Hey, you'll hear me, but not with this signal. Well, what's you know the difference between full scale and full scale? You know. Yeah, uh, yes, sir. Yeah, what, what are you pointing at? Can you point uh, more towards the end and see what you get? It's probably gonna be a little bit more northwest of me. I'm 
point about 3.30 right now. Well, the Luton LT UV or U LT598 UV is actually at this time of the video cheaper than the BTEC on Amazon. It's actually 158 at this time, and the BTEC is 169. So, hey, why not save a couple bucks and get a few more watts, right? Um, I haven't really had any issues with it. I did get it does get a little warm. It does say here that uh, high temperature on the case. After about 20, 25 minutes, that fan was constantly running, and it was pretty warm. But um, you know, if, if you're uh, not needing it and you're long-winded and you're talking to a local repeater, turn the power down, you know. Uh, turn it down to low power. It'd be 25 watts on low, 20 watts. So uh, hopefully the video uh, explained a couple differences and uh, showed you if, in case you're interested in buying one. And uh, consider a small donation. My channel, the link is in the description. I'm trying to get some better gear, some better videos, some better uh, microphone and such. So 7-3, thanks for watching. Subscribe, check us out on Facebook. Like, comment, share. Love hearing your comments. And uh, more videos on the way. So 7-3.